Hey yo, my boys, welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, guys, we are gonna be taking a look at this amazing brand new custom that I freaking made. And my god, I cannot believe I actually made this. It is awesome. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Lil Player here. Welcome back to the roof, guys. Today, not today's video, guys. Like I said, we are going to be taking a look at this custom Wrestle Kingdom 14 Will Osprey figure. Will Osprey from his attire on Wrestle Kingdom 14 at the beginning of the year this year. Yeah, I almost said last year, but no, it actually was an attire from this year. I had actually started working on this figure since the beginning of the year, actually, since he wore the attire. I was beginning to, to work on it because I thought the attire was super cool. The night he wore this attire, I really loved his attire. Uh, he was wearing some fire white with purple, orange, and black attire. And I decided I was going to go ahead and make a custom Will Ospreay because I became a fan of Will Ospreay. Since this year, I think Will Ospreay is one of the best wrestlers in the world right now. Just constantly putting on great matches. And the cool thing about Will Ospreay is that he is one of the best high flyers. He's right up there with Ray Phoenix as like the top three best high flyers. I would say is Ray Phoenix, Will Ospreay, and Ricochet. The best high flyers in the world. But Will Ospreay can also adapt to like heavyweight and you know all the other styles. So I really like Will Ospreay's work. And that is why I've always wanted a Will Ospreay action figure. But I didn't really want to commission other, other people a custom. I wanted to try my own you know. I wanted to make my own custom Will Ospreay. And here is my attempt right here at the Wrestle Kingdom 14. So without any further ado guys. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at my custom Will Osprey and yes this was actually 100% done by me guys <laughs> I know I know I can't believe it either in my opinion this is my best custom to date I think this has been my best custom it's definitely the hardest custom I've ever done and I completely understand why this was the last challenge on the custom underground tournament that tournament I had joined they actually had to do this for the final round but they actually made entrance gear and stuff I didn't make the entrance gear because that would have been some next level stuff it, it was so complicated but the attire itself which was already complicated in itself i did do it and and i think we nailed it look at that quick 360 before we dive deep into it but first let's go ahead and take a closer look at the face scan all right my boy so here is the custom will osprey face scan that i did i didn't go with the typical christian face scan that most people have because i first of all i didn't have a christian and second of all i just don't really see the likeness on that christian face scan now this one i don't think it it looks like Will Ospreay 100% but for what it is I think I did the most I could do and I think it looks you know okay yo, it looks okay it has the resemblance of Will Ospreay the face scan that I used as the base it is a Chris Jericho smiling head scan so th there you go that is the head scan that I used basically what I did is shaved all of the hair off first time I ever did this I really went full try hard for this custom because I wanted to try new tactics and I used most of the stuff that I had learned from the custom underground tournament and my experience through joining that thing because honestly it actually does help getting tips from other customizers that have done this longer and I definitely feel like I've gotten better since I actually started this custom before I had joined the tournament but I took a pause on it because I was focusing on the customs for the tournament and then I came back even though I was already stressed and I thought I was never going to finish it because it was super hard I came back with with everything I had learned and I just felt more confident and look at this man we got it we got the end result right here we sculpted the hair that is the one thing I did new that I had never done uh, I sculpted the hair completely sculpted I, like I said I shaved the entire head I repainted the head right here to create that fade effect on the sides I sculpted the hair to, to, to how he wore it that night you know it is accurate to how he wore it at Wrestle Kingdom 14 I painted some of the beard. I think his beard should have been a little bit lighter. I think I did went a bit too dark on the beard because he didn't have really a lot of beard that night. But usually Will Osprey does let his beard grow though. So I think it's okay. Uh, as you can see, I did make the eyebrows a little bit thicker. 
because I think Will Ospreay has ar thicker eyebrows and that is about it for the head scan I think I nailed it I'm really really proud of the hair and I think the hair is really what makes this head scan look like Will Ospreay it is the hair right there and yeah that is the head scan then we move on to the body and the formula that I used right here it's pretty easy I pretty much kept the exact same Chris Jericho torso Chris Jericho arms for the lower part that's where I used Seth Rollins I think these kick pads were actually AJ Styles kick pads so yeah I used Seth Rollins upper legs and AJ Styles lower legs with kick pads and then just some random white knee pads probably came from both Dallas I don't remember but yeah that, that was the formula I don't know why Mattel always gave Chris Jericho figures this style of, of torso because he was always kind of more accurate to the William Regal style torso I don't know why they did that but I think this torso works for Will Ospreay of course now he's technically considered a heavyweight so if I wanted an updated Will Ospreay I would probably use the Finn Balor torso because he's definitely gotten a lot more mass but I think this skinny torso actually works and it's accurate to the night he wore this attire at Wrestle Kingdom 14. I mean Will Ospreay man at the beginning of the year he was still a junior heavyweight he was still cruiserweight technically and he was very skinny and now I mean if you see him recently he's really gained mass and he's considered a heavyweight now he's gone up to the heavyweight division yeah I don't keep up a lot with New Japan I only watch like the big pay-per-views I know the G1 Climax I think it's going on right now haven't really watched that but I'll probably go back and watch some of the highlights later but anyway continuing on to the figure right here as you can see I slid open this elbow pad right here because he had it with the open so this I think I took it from CM Punk and then I just made a hole right there with my exacto knife then I sculpted the wrist tape using my my, my sculpting wrist tape tutorial if you guys want to go check that out I made a whole tutorial so you guys can see how to sculpt realistic wrist wrist tape and I use that tactic right here on this Osprey custom to make it more realistic to make that wrist tape pop and, and add a better better realistic effect to it you know then we go down to the tights right here and this was the part that just killed me man I pretty much had the upper body of the custom already done but these tights right here man I had to turn the black Seth Rollins tights into white. So first of all, that that's the first thing I did and that was so freaking frustrating because I had to put so much layers of white and that's why the paint kind of came out thick. I, I put a lot of layers. It is a lot better when you use the base color that you're going to paint. But I used black Seth Rollins legs and I had to go ahead and paint them all white. And it was a pain in the butt. But after I got them in white, then that's when I started making all these designs right here. And look at that, man. So many complicated shapes in this attire. I don't know why I chose to make this attire. But I just thought it looked badass. And I actually got it done. And I'm so proud of it, man. All this pain I had to go through, it was really worth it. Look at that. I'm turning it around so you guys can see all the detail right here. All these triangular shapes. All these lines and different colors were so hard to get. The purple especially, I don't know if it was my purple paint or why the purple that I used, it was just so hard. It took like five, six layers in order for it to finally look the contrast that I wanted it to look. And I finally got the, the correct colors, the correct tones, you know, and everything. I think my line work is definitely a lot more clean. So I've definitely felt like I improved. Look at that, I even added the details of the white laces right there on the tights. The triangle shape right here, it was so complicated. As you can see, one of them came out a little bit thicker than the other one. This one is more thin right here. This one is more outside. So, yeah, it's not 100% accurate, but, you know, it's 99.9% .9 accurate. Hand painting a custom, it is one of the most difficult things. So, for a hand painted Will Ospreay, I think I did pretty good, you know. I, I would say I didn't do too bad. Alright, but there you guys can see a beautiful 360 right there of the custom. There, here's the back design of, of the tights right here. As well, pretty similar to the front, but this one didn't have a space right here. So it made it a lot easier to do the back design. I think the back was a lot easier. The front was really what was giving me trouble, but I got it done. And as you can see right here, a lot of small triangles, a lot of uh, very complicated lines right there that I had to paint. But, you know, uh, once... Once you get going, I think it got a little bit easier, but right right here, it, 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 it took me a long time and it was very challenging. And there goes the knee pads right here. You guys can see the knee pads. And finally, going down into the kick pads, this was also very hard because it is even smaller. It had to be very patient, but I got it done as well. Then we got the black shoes. And finally, what tops it all off, Will Ospreay wears these black shoes that have like a blue outsole. So it looks really cool and I made sure to include that because I wanted accuracy. I care about accuracy when it comes to my custom. So yeah, those are the small details and attention to detail. I think I got it right. I also even tried, I don't know how good you guys can tell because I am 
a beginner at this and I still need to learn but I also kind of tried to dry brush some of the red onto the skin tone to add highlight onto the skin tone but I kind of it didn't come out great you guys can barely tell so that's kind of what I tried doing also I forgot to mention that these hands are interchangeable so you guys can interchange these I did use I, I think what did I say I used for the arms I think I said I used Chris Jericho arms that that was a lie I used Matt Hardy arms there you go that's what I used Matt Hardy arms and here you go uh, I'm gonna put this hand right here because this is a Nakamura hand and this is a hand gesture that Will Ospreay actually does when he poses on the turnbuckle he goes like this boom so there you go that is Will Ospreay in his Osprey pose right here and this is my Will Ospreay custom from Wrestle Kingdom 14 there you go from head to toe amazing let me know what you guys think guys but yeah that is pretty much gonna do it for my custom super so click that like button if you guys enjoyed this review this video right here let me know in the comments below like I said what would you guys give this out of 10 I personally think it was my best work my best work because I did this 100% done all by myself can you guys tell if I'm improving or not I think I'm improving and I will definitely be making more customs now that I see this kind of lit like a spark inside me that I kind of want to make more customs so I'm definitely gonna keep making more more customs of like cool attires that I like subscribe to the channel this is the first time watching any of my videos with that said guys have a great day today i will see y'all next time